All right, so uh, I had somebody comment on that last video I just uploaded, and uh, he wanted to know more about my vest, so I just figured I'd kind of go over my whole uh, system here. Um, first thing is, this is this is you know this is the stuff that I think I need. You might not need the same stuff. Number one, number two, um, you know there, there's different situations that I have things set up for. So I'm gonna show you a few of my systems. And my vest is kind of modular in that I can change it between my different systems. So I have different things that go on the vest. Stuff like that. Um, so, number two is, I don't want people thinking I'm fucking crazy. Even though most people watching this probably don't. But if you do, this is not the channel for you. Go somewhere else. Um, you know, having all this stuff doesn't make me crazy. If you think that, then you're fucking crazy. So, you know, fuck off. Uh... Like I said, some of the stuff might work for you, might not. This is kind of my stuff. Um, you know, this could give you some ideas on stuff to uh, acquire. And another thing is, I know the trolls are going to get me for this, but yes, my vest is $30. If you don't like it, number one, you can fuck off. Number two, if you, know, if you want to argue about it respectfully, I, I'll engage in it to a point. But if you really have a problem with it, and you're so high and mighty you have this better gear than I do... Then what? If you got so much money, go ahead, buy me a vest and send it to me. It's that simple. If you want a bitch, this is what I could afford. If you have a problem with it, you can go buy me that $100 vest that's so badass that it's so much better than mine you have to talk trash. Because I already know it's coming. You can buy me one, right? Um, I think that's about it. Some of my stuff is older stuff. So, if you know, if you don't like the older stuff, there's, of course, modern versions of everything. So first off, I want to talk about my hat here. Uh, I have a boonie cap uh, somewhere over here. here it is. So boonie cap and a baseball cap. Now I like the I wear the baseball cap every day, right? Sorry, the camera. There we go. So baseball cap. I wear that every day. But if I was walking around more or in the rain or something, I'd probably go with the boonie cap. And I have a couple of these. To just you know, throw places my Alice pack or whatever. Which is the one thing I don't have here is the Alice pack. There are some things I'm missing, but I'll do individual reviews probably on everything here. This is kind of an overview. So boonie cap. Now under that is my mechanic gloves. Uh, you definitely want to protect your hands if you're doing anything. And now uh, uh, another thing I wanted to talk about for this video is, like I said, I have different things for different situations. So I'm trying to bold all my gear to do specific things. What I mean by that is, you know, one of them could be protecting my house in, say, a riot situation around in my neighborhood or something, you know. Or, uh, or you know, a lot of people like to do SHTF or WRL, whatever like that. So my stuff is geared toward different things. You know, like my system for somebody just breaking in my house is just grab the shotgun and go. It's not. I'm not going to throw on my, my little mesh vest or nothing. You know, it doesn't help me by doing that. Especially in California, it doesn't help you by throwing on there, looking all tactical and stuff when the cops show up. So, you know, it all I need is a shotgun. It has a flashlight on it, and it has buckshot in the tube. So that's all I need if somebody breaks in my house. You know, if if there's, you know, looters out and stuff, I might want to look tactical to, you know, ward them off, you know, to prevent them from, oh, thinking, okay, let's not fuck with that guy. Or, or you know, stuff like that, even if you don't agree with it. I, I you know, who cares, right? I need more ammunition if I'm in that situation where there's looters rioting and stuff like that. I'm probably going to need more ammunition anyway, so why not wear the freaking vest? But, you know, if 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 it deters somebody from attacking me, then great. I'm probably not going to be out fucking around anyway. So, you know, whatever. But, so, gloves protect your hands. Fantastic. And uh, another thing is, you know, if you hear me bumping around stuff, I have so much crap around me. It's, you know, I'm moving it around and everything. So another thing you're going to want is definitely eye protection uh, for pretty much any situation. If you have, a, you know, you're shooting a gun, period, you want eye protection. Even if you're not, you know, people could throw crap at you, spit in you, whatever. So eye protection. Now, this is my uh, true spec, I think it's tactical response uniform is what they call it. And this thing is awesome. Uh... I mean, it's it's just awesome all the way around. If you want, I'll, like, I'll I'll probably do another review about it. But if you want, you can look up more specs about it. Now, footwear is another thing, and I don't know how to say the brand of these Wenger, something like that. But these are my my boots. They're kind of a hiking boot, but they have mesh 
because you know California is hot most of the time, so it's pretty good. Uh, it's probably not good for the rain, but whatever. So that's that. Here's the brand right there. They also make the Swiss Army knives. I think I don't think they they make the boots the same company, but they probably put, just put their you know logo on it. So let's move on here. So. So this is my vest. I took everything off of it so we can just just talk about the vest alone. Uh, I can't. I think it's NC Star that makes this vest. Uh, yes, it's only thirty dollars. It's cheap. Yeah, uh, I've had it for a while now and it hasn't broken on me. I, you know, I, when I got it, I thought, oh, this mesh is gonna just tear out and rip and everything. It's just gonna be garbage. You know, I, I wasted my money kind of thing. But it hasn't. And I, you know, I've had that twenty-five round shotgun pouch on it with the 12 round and my rifle pouches and everything and, and it, it handles the weight pretty good so I was surprised for $30. The one thing I did do though is I changed out the belt that come with it with a pistol belt just like a standard pistol belt and the reason I did that was number one is some of these I used to use these for ammo pouches I don't anymore but the Alice clip attachment will work work way better on the pistol belt. And then uh, I have my canteen here. Somewhere. I have a canteen. Oh, the canteen's not in it, but there's my canteen pouch. It's got crap on it because it's sitting on the floor. But And that attaches with the Alice clips too. And then I have the canteen and then the canteen cup. Like, you know, like the steel cup. So that... That, that's kind of a system in itself, but you see, like I said before, is, is I have things for different situations. So if I need to go and leave my house for you know a period of time, I'm going to want to have water. And if I'm going to want water, I'm probably going to want food. So I'm going to need some way to cook stuff. And I have a little pocket stove with uh, Esbit, I think is who makes it. So I don't, I don't think I have that here either, but... So, you know, that's a, it's a little compact with the canteen cup. It's a little, it's a little system in itself that I could use if if I needed to. So I'm going to, you know, tailor or change my vest on what I think I'm going to get into. You know, what situation I need to go into, I'm going to change the stuff on my vest, my system, my Alice pack. If I'm bringing the Alice pack, the whole thing, I'm going to change it based on what I think I'm going to need to do. So I changed it. I changed the belt out. The, I have the old belt right here. And I have the old belt ready to go back on it. It has my, my uh, Bear Grylls knife. And it came with two of these little mag pouches, and they're just perfect to hold the multi-tool. So, and this is a cheap, I think it was a Winchester. I've had this wind thing for three years now, and I still haven't broken anything on it. You can see the paint's chipping off, and paint's chipping off here and there. It doesn't matter to me. It works. I've cut, I mean, you can cut pennies in half with it and everything. Everybody says, oh, you need a Leatherman cause, you know, or Gerber, because you can cut pennies in half. I can cut pennies in half with that, so. Works for me. But that's the that's the belt that came with the vest. And the reason I don't have the Bear Grylls knife on the pistol belt is because the attachment barely fits this belt. So I don't think it would fit. It, it's not going to fit the pistol belt. Like, there's no way to do it. It doesn't even fit through here, so you couldn't do it sideways or anything like that. So it kind of sucks about the Bear Grylls thing. I'd probably have to get a new sheath or paracord it on or whatever. But that's that. Uh, another feature of my vest, which as you can see is mesh, right, which I kind of like it, but I'd really rather them just do like the, the they did this on the back. See how it's not mesh? It's kind of like this nylon, almost? I don't know what it is or what material it is, but I would have rather them do this on the front too, but I can understand why, especially wearing this around for a little while, going to the range with it and stuff. The mesh does keep you cooler. It does. It just does. Um, it's it, it's a poor material to attach things to, but like I said, mine still hasn't failed. So, you know, hopefully it never does. But I'll probably buy another vest eventually. I know I will. I want to get into some body armor kind of stuff, but that's expensive. So, I was showing the back. Um, I, I really like... Like the, I like the, the features of this vest. It does some stuff that, you know, I, I'd rather not or want more, but... One thing it does have, and you can see the Velcro is really, and it has kind of this waterproof, like lining in here, and it's a it's a pouch for a water bladder that goes all the way down it, around here, so it covers this whole thing, and that it's for a water bladder, and as you can see, I took this actually this right here was actually I, I have it right here, but 
this was actually part of the shotgun pouch because it works as the like that voodoo tactical one has the bungee and you can put a you know rifle ammunition box in there and then bungee over it. I didn't need it for a shotgun pouch and it was getting in my way, so I just cut it off and then stuck it on here. So if I want to hang anything, you know, like my blood type or something like that, I can hang it there. I thought it was a good idea, and you know, whatever. It's not like it weighs anything. So it does have a water bladder. Now this vest does. It, I mean, it does some things good, for sure. Uh, one thing I don't like about it, flip it over again, and I don't use them because I don't like it, is I think it's kind of an air softer's vest. I think that's what it is. I don't use it for that. But I'll do the buckle here. Yeah, there you go. There's the brand. Vism by NC Star is what they do, but it has the Velcro pocket. It has like a little Velcro, and it's a mesh, though. It's all mesh. That's why I don't trust any of it. And the part I really don't trust is it, it has two pockets in one. So this is a completely different pocket. So it's like three layers of mesh right here for pockets. And I'm like, I'm never going to use any of these pockets. So I wouldn't use them, but you know, they're there on either side, too. So I guess that's somewhat of a good thing. And then another thing they have is this elastic Right here, so if you do run your water bladder in the back, you can have the hose come up here, and then you have the elastic to hold it. And then it has the D-rings, too, so you can clip on stuff. Like, uh, what do they call them? Ranger beads or whatever, the pacing beads. You can clip them on here, do whatever, your carabiners, whatever you want to clip on there. So that's my vest. One thing I did want to talk about is gas mask. Um... A lot of people, you know, say, oh, these surplus gas masks are garbage because of that, you know, they won't work against gas anymore. They're not rated for it and all that stuff. Well, I didn't buy it, you know, to survive poison gas, mustard gas, CS gas, whatever. It's really primarily just, number one, to protect me. And number two is a lot of SWAT teams and stuff. I'm not saying I'm going to, you know, like, go against the police. I'm a law-abiding citizen and everything like that, but... You know, criminals do what the police do sometimes, especially, you know, drug cartels and stuff like that. We're talking flashbangs, smoke grenades, stuff like that. And this is decent for smoke grenades. You know, if, if they smoke me, it, this will filter out them. So I'd be, you know, still, I'd be still up and running if a cartel, you know, was pissed off with me and then smoke grenade in my house. I'd be fine. But they, they, I doubt they do that and it's never going to happen. But not only that, like I said, is, you know, riding, looting and stuff, you don't want to be out there. And, you know, just your face open and everything. People can spit at you, throw stuff at you, you know, breaking glass bottles and stuff. This will protect you more than just the safety glasses. So that, I think it's a good thing, you know. Uh, you know, if I could afford a modern, you know, brand new gas mask with the filters, that you have to keep buying them every couple of years. And it's just, it doesn't, it's, you know, it, it, I can't. I can't afford buying filters every year and then buying like a $100 gas mask and then having to buy filters every year, so... Kind of sucks. Okay. Uh, another thing I usually have on the vest. Sometimes I have it, sometimes I don't. Is a compass. Just a regular compass. So. And yeah, it's old. It has the Alice clips. So. Uh, another thing I will. And like I said, this is part of the older stuff. Is if, you know, we'll say mission critical or I need it. I have a shovel folding shovel you know, it's an old one but it still works I, I mean I wouldn't doubt I've dug some stuff with it but it works so and of course Alice clips again that's another reason why I did the pistol belt so I can patch older stuff like this not only the canteen uh, another thing and I usually have this on the Alice pack not on my belt but I could put it on the belt is uh, the first aid the old version of the first aid thing and now uh, of course I could just you know throw my big first aid kit in the Alice pack but it takes up a lot of room I like this it's you know it's 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 like you know you you looking for like if I got shot and somebody's looking for my first aid kit this is you know noticeable that's the first aid kit uh, I'm not really gonna go over the contents of it right now but you know it's just the old plastic box stuff like that um. Another thing is shelter. Get them both out here. So, U.S. Army tent. Uh, I think they called it the pup tent. It works. It's heavy, but it works. Now, 
shelter half. This is a half and this is half. So if I had a buddy, I'd have him carry half and then have me carry half. And when we got to camp, we set up one tent instead of me having to carry both. But if I was out by my own, I'd carry both. Uh, of course, there's more lightweight options, but it works. Another thing to think of, this is a kind of a waterproof sack. So you want to keep your clothes dry. You know, dirty clothes, you know, you're going to want to have sets of clothing if you're going to be out there for a while. Even if you're not, like socks, stuff like that. If you're walking around, standing, you're going to want extra pairs of socks and you're going to, going to want to keep them dry. So that, for sure, a bag to keep them dry. And it, it, it wraps around, it has instructions on it to make it all waterproof and everything. Um, I think that's about it for now that I want to talk about. Kind of gone over the main stuff. But yeah, pup tent, compass, vest, shoes, footwear, you know, gas mask, safety glasses, uh, hearing protection I didn't go over because, you know, if you have guns you have hearing protection, so multiple versions of that. You might not want to go with the electronic, even though I have them, and they are better for the range, but earplugs are simple, they don't break, and they don't need batteries, so you might want to think about that. I didn't talk about flashlights either, I could... Maybe I'll make a separate video on that. Like I said, this is kind of an overview. And uh, maybe, you know, you, you guys get some ideas for that if you're just starting. And I'm, I'm only, you know, like, I'm, I'm 18. I'm only starting mine. My collection of survival gear, whatever you want to call it. So, hopefully it helps you out. Another thing is, you know, Mose and ammo. So you already saw that Voodoo Tactical pouch. I really like it because you can actually weave this into Molly, this strap. Is actually thin enough to weave into Molly. So I, I've done it. It's not fantastic, but it'll work. But yep, I hope it gives you guys some ideas on just how to set up your stuff. Yep. Alright, thanks for watching.